Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's more Shining Force, the Legacy of Great Intention. I'm Titans Creed, and I've done an absolute ton of grinding on this level. Uh, whereas to the point that we're going to be actually able to finish it and move on. I've managed to get everybody in the party to level 10. Plus, it's amazing what happens when um, when you go out actually and check some various bits and pieces. Turns out I've done the last couple of fights with two people down. And uh, a couple of other surprises as well. Such as um, Chris, <laughs> shockingly enough, was... Um, actually does an actual ton of damage when she hits things. But this should be relatively easy. I, I think I'm, I'm massively over leveled for this now. So, well, I say that, but it, it brings it up to about the one level per stage thing. And I'm about 20 battles into this, I think. Might, might be 21. But... You should make it fairly easy uh, going for the rest of this. I have no idea what's coming up in this, to be honest. As I said previously, like, I only got so far in this in the mobile game, so a lot of this is relatively blind. But Shiny Force is Shiny Force at the end of the day. If you have a decently leveled party and you vaguely know how abilities work, you should be fine. Gargoyles are going to pose no problem. The only problems I'm going to have is going to be those Belials and the uh, boss at the end of it. So yeah, it's I had so many problems trying to level. I think I've leveled the group up to level ten about three times. the The first time it didn't save. The second time it didn't save. Uh, well, let me replace that. The first time the save state didn't work. The second time the in-game save didn't work, which I found out doesn't work at all on any of the emulation, whether it's um, whether it's the standard emulator or the Steam emulation. So, yeah, that's pretty bad all over, to be fair, in terms of how this game is meant to work. The fact I'm still getting experience off of those goblin, uh, goblins, goblins, it astounds me. Oh, your garbage hands! You're absolutely rubbish. Yeah, let's not put them anywhere where they're going to get shot. Yeah, you'd be surprised. I've worked out how a lot of the movement in this stuff works. Like, the, the bow riders will only shoot if I'm in a specific area or once the gargoyles are dead. The mages will only start attacking if you're in their range. It's pretty ridiculous. Like, this girl's a beast. She, she, she just goes around killing things now. I think she could actually one-shot Belial's as well. It's absolutely filth. Here they come. And Max with that sword is proper filth as well. He like, does about 70 damage, I think. So... It shouldn't be too much of an issue. Wow, that's a lot of damage. It's just back him off a little bit. Access to so many spells now. I think Chris has got heal 4 and aura 1 now, which is just amazing. Let's 
to start killing things. It should be a relatively short episode, I imagine. Um, I'm just going to be able to just go straight in, just walk through stuff. It should get harder because they'll start facing out a lot of the old enemies like the Gargoyles and these bow riders will get a lot more of the harder hitting stuff soon. I imagine. I think Gom gets heal 4 at level 11, maybe, I don't know. He did get heal 3, which is good, which is an even bigger range heal, it heals for a lot more. Yeah, there's not a lot left to this fight really, just be interested to see what happens at the end of it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to hope that now I'm going to be able to just plow through the rest of this game. Since everybody's leveled up and I don't really have to worry about like people falling behind. And if I do, I might just have to do another grinding session. We'll, we'll find out as we get to it. Jesus Christ. But I have noticed uh, when I've been grinding that there's a lot more... There's a lot of things that they really did improve upon in like the Sword of Hydra series, or CD, as I call it, and, um, like, Shining Force 2. There are a lot more subtleties that they improved upon, which nobody really talks about, I find. But it's stuff like, uh, currently, in Shining Force 1, uh, when you level up, your XP hits a base zero it doesn't go up any further than that which in the other ones is if you hit over that mark then you, the xp just carries over which is great because it makes it easier to level instead of having all your xp just level out of zero regardless of how much you get now i could be at 99 kill an enemy get 48 and it'll just still level out of zero whereas if i did that in cd or two it would just go straight up to 47 in the next level which is a great boost I like this music, it's pretty cool. Freeze free should do a fair amount of damage. A nice 20, 20 experience points there. Because I've done this level, I've got so much gold now. So, like, it's gold is not a problem anymore. But um, yeah, uh, I know we're we're gonna we're gonna take a short break. I think after we do Shining Force One, um, I want to do CD because the story is a lot better and. I know what I'm doing in CD and it's a lot easier to like break and just go to the next stage but we're going to try something different we're going to try a different LP after that I know which one I want to do you just have to keep your eyes peeled haha -ha. Another subtle difference that they've uh, made is that um, music is different in battles depending on uh, who's actually fighting. So like, if the enemies are fighting, it's enemy music. If I'm fighting, it's good side music. Right, let's just 
end this quickly. So yeah, those Belials don't start moving until the priest dies that I, that I killed earlier on. It's <laughs> so easy to trigger stuff. And the Durahans will only move once somebody's actually up on the ledge as well. Source really. Oh, let's clear the last of these blows out. I'm except I dodged. And there we go. Hurrah, hurrah, Kalu Clay. See if we can get the other Belial down. There we go. That should heal up the damage that we just took in the last one. Everybody except Gong there and Max. Well, yeah, three of us took damage, three of us got healed. Okay, experience points, which is good. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got to be careful with the positioning up on the top there because of her bolt three. Bolt 2, I can't remember. Is it Bolt 2 or Bolt 3? Bolt 2. Has such a disgusting range. Two, we've got all our healers up. Zedera, we're in a very good position right now. Here we go. What we want to do is we want to get Max up there first. He's going to tank a lot of that damage. That's the plan. Oh, goodness. Hey! Let's just finish this off. Probably get Luke up to level 11 as well, if he hits. Which he didn't. <laughs> so we'll just finish this off quickly. That way it's not bolt my team, but I'm not wasting extra mana. Brilliant stuff. So yeah, you may have seen that we're uh, me and the Blood Bowl guys. We're doing Vermintide at the moment. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I can't remember if I talked about this previously. Honestly, don't remember. Uh, but yeah, Vermintide. Lots of fun. Uh, really enjoying it. Uh, I've never really played a Left 4 Dead game before. So it's... Uh, yeah, interesting, to say the least. There's more of that going up than this. Yeah, it should all still be out. Be going out when uh, you see this. I think we're... Yeah, we've been doing some act two stuff. It's hard to get the guys together, really. Uh, no, let's not put him there. He's pretty destructible. As expected, they're all going to go for max. They shouldn't do that much damage. Six hit points is not too bad. He should be able to just annihilate them, though. As I said, he's doing silly amounts of damage. If I wasn't worried about losing him in the actual fight, I'd uh, against the boss, then I'd actually get him to actually hit the boss. Let's see how much he does. 25. Uh, okay. So 70 against lesser beings. Yeah, 
Okay, let's not put anybody there. Because that point at the top of the ladder is within bolt range, and that would get everybody there in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Get some cheeky XP. Da, 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 da. Uh, let's see how much he'll actually do. It's quite a, a nondescript model for a boss, really. Normally they all have really unique models that really stand out. So it's like, it's really weird to see that they don't. that much 15 yeah that's not too bad it's just, just got such a wide casting arc that makes it really difficult to uh, get around and of course because she's a boss she's self-healing every turn ugh oy vey. Is there going to be a lot of this quickly evading? Because I'm not going to be able to deal with it. It will annoy me. Let's see. Jesus, she's healed already. Is she gonna punch before? Twelve. Jesus, this is gonna hurt. She's gonna bolt soon, so. Gonna punch me in the face. <clears throat> yeah, we think we get him out of dodge. It's all that that does that as well. Um, Jesus, she's back up to 60. This isn't going to do a lot either, though, I think. Yeah, one. Useless archer. I need to really keep putting on the pressure. Which means I need to get the flyers in. Oh. Right, go there, because I want you to get healed. There we go. Yeah. 
heal you as well. Yep, very nice, thank you. Might be worth 40 attack. 48 attack, yeah, it might be worth swap off, swapping them around, I guess. Right, last, oh my god. Right, well, she's out of it, she's useless now. <laughs> right, back in the fray. Come on. That's nice. Oh my goodness. Yep. Just need to keep laying on the pressure, really. Oh. Spellcasters have no good spells. This is probably a very bad mistake trying to get this in here. This is going to be a lot of what the boss fights are later on as well. Just a lot of ducking and diving. Um, you're useless. It's not even, even any point. May as well. It's an extra 10 experience points at the end of the day. So, yeah. Right, so let's get you back on here. Nice. Eight's better than nothing. Eight's better than one. Right, come on. 48 attack. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Good old Luke, mate. I should have done that to begin with, mate. Defense by three, speed by three. Hit points by six, Jesus. You take my sword, you'll never stop Dark Soul. Dark Dragon will be set free. Will Dark Soul release Dark Dragon from the bonds of the ancients? Or will Max stop Dark Soul and save all of Rune from the ultimate evil? Shining Force hurries on to prompt. And with that, that's the end of chapter six. I'll see you next time. <laughs>